vital services to children around the world. You can find out more about their initiative at their website, www.org. That's www.org. We'll continue to share these uh, inspirational stories all week. You can also watch the Champions for Change one-hour special this Saturday at 8 p.m. That's all the time we have. Thanks for watching. Time to hand it over to Don Lemon. CNN Tonight starts now. This is CNN Tonight. I'm Don Lemon. Children still being taken from their parents on the border tonight as President Trump met with House Republicans behind closed doors, calling on them to pass legislation to fix the mess he made. These are laws that have been broken for many years, decades, but we had a great meeting. So sources telling CNN the president didn't take questions from members of his own party, went on and on about his promised border wall and called for $25 billion to build it. Sounds like hostage taking, doesn't it? We'll talk about that. And he said his daughter, Ivanka, talked to him about images of children, well over 2,000 of them so far, being separated from their parents. Some of those children held in cages some housed in this tent city along the southern border. Even though the president's daughter has so far remained silent publicly when so many others, including the president's supporters, have been speaking out. And if you're tempted amid the onslaught of misinformation coming your way to think this can't be as heartless as it seems, well, I want you to just listen to Trump loyalist Corey Lewandowski. I read today about a 10-year-old uh, girl with Down syndrome who was taken from her mother and put in a cage. Wah, wah. I read about a, a, did you say want want to a 10-year-old with Down syndrome what being I taken from her mother? What I said is you can pick anything How you want you? Up, but the bottom line How is very dare clear. You? When you cross How absolutely the border dare you, illegally. Sir. There is a word for that, and that word is disgraceful. But make no mistake, this is happening because... It's what President Trump wants. This is what Donald Trump wants. He could put a stop to all of this at any time, right away. No other administration has done this. But not only is the president ignoring growing anger, this growing anger over his policy, he is continuing to blame, guess what, Democrats. As a result of Democrat-supported loopholes in our federal laws, most illegal immigrant families and minors from Central America who arrive unlawfully at the border cannot be detained together or removed together, only released. So without outrage, without hyperbole, that is simply not true. And what do you call something that's not true? It's a lie. The fact is, this administration, this White House, decided to prosecute every single adult caught crossing the border illegally if they came with children, separating parents from their kids with no clear plan to reunite them. That's the fact. The president himself chose this fight. Immigration gets him like nothing, gets him going like nothing else. And he proved it today again, doubling down on his rhetoric, claiming undocumented immigrants will, his word, infest our country. This is a president who is still determined to build his wall, and he appears to be willing to hold thousands of children hostage to get it. That's right, I said hostage. Many of those children, too young to understand what's happening to them, but Americans under understand exactly what is happening here. We see it with our own eyes. 